So much of what you are designing for discovery now, you are in, in some ways standing on the shoulders of, of people like Michael Westmore and Scott Wheeler and Jake Garber. And like, do you still turn to them for reference? Are you combining your instinct with their canon to develop these things? Do I reference Michael Westmore, for example? More than that, I have his phone number almost set to speed dial. And wow. I, I will call him um, respectfully on occasion and say, what do you think of? Yeah. Because wow. it would be not only, I think, ever so slightly disrespectful to not tap into that, but it would be irresponsible to not. And I, I, I so much with love and he's kind of a father figure. So you kind of want your dad's blessing. Yeah, in sure. This. Um, but at the same time, it's whenever I talk to him, I always, it's always with um, anxiety is not quite the right word, but I'm nervous because I, I really want his approval. But at the same time, I am supposed to move things in a direction that's ever so slightly different, whether that be because of the technologies we're using, you mm -hmm. know, the cameras today, HD, etc. They're going to pick up more details than yeah. in the past. So everything is is um, I, I, I'm careful to use words like elevated because that implies that the other is sub. I understand it's not the case. It's just that HD cameras capture more detail. Yeah. Ergo, we need to infuse things with more detail. Plus, audiences mature over time. Mm -hmm. The suspension of disbelief that an audience has today is very different than it was uh, even say 50 years ago, which I know is a long time ago, but the audience is paying such close attention. Yeah. I remember at Comic-Con a few years back, we had just kind of debuted the Torchbearer uh, Klingon um, space suit. Okay. And it was sitting in a display case. Comic-Con hadn't even opened yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone had already commented on the engraved Klingon text that I put in the dagger. And they translated it? They deciphered it. Amazing. <laughs> it even open. And I saw this tweet and I thought, wow, it's a good thing that uh, I didn't do anything too personal with that uh, hidden text. Um, yeah, and it's never about you, but if you're gonna, if you're gonna plant a seed or, or plant it, uh, an Easter egg, um, it had better be relevant because someone will catch it. it there's a <laughs> lot in that Klingon suit. Actually, there is a ton of amazing referential iconography specific to Klingon lore and canon. In uh, in 303, uh, this character Wen is introduced, and he's a Dilithium Raider, and he comes in, and he looks like. He is a terrifying alien species. He's got this great battle helmet on and we're like wondering what in the world is going on with this creature. And then he takes it off and it's a human underneath. Now I understand yeah. that you and your team designed and built his helmet. Would you talk about that? Cause it looks like yeah. there's not a human under there. Well, that's uh, the smoke and mirrors of, of design uh, when it comes to proportion. Everything starts with a strong silhouette. You think about what is a strong silhouette, in this case, front view. And the important, the two important things were that the shape would look like a different type of head fits inside of it. Uh, and the second is the, the sound, of course, coming out of it, uh, slightly modified um, so that you're not hearing the human voice. And probably the most fun thing about that particular helmet is really the process the Wen helmet was a really fun process of quickly digitally sculpting it okay. and understanding in, in the round how all of these shapes could work and then 3D printing it and providing that to Alchemy to then start doing all the complex finishes yeah. and um, the technical side of illumination and comfort for the performer because you put on anything um, makeup in particular, but a helmet comes on and off, but it still needs to be comfortable. They still need to be able to walk and talk, hear and be heard. Uh, so there, there's a lot more that goes into just the aesthetic design of things. It's quite a bit more.